Good evening. It is Friday, March 31st, and I am going to be doing a drive with FSD Beta 1134 from my gym in St. Paul, Minnesota here to a uh, nearby supercharger, actually. My wife is going to be working out at this that gym, so uh, I figured I'm going to do a, a video while she's doing that. So, um, But there's a problem area. It kind of starts right from here, so let's kind of see what the car does. It's going to the right here. It looks like it's going to pick the right lane. Let's see if it gets out of this lane here. It did signal that time to get over to that lane. Okay. So at some point, we need to get over to the left lane. Somewhere in the next quarter mile or so. If we don't get over, um, we're going to be in trouble. And a little bit of braking input there. Not sure what was going on. And again, it looks like we're stopping. Oh, I see it picks, picking up the stop sign there. So... West 7th here in St. Paul is notorious for stop signs that are like that. They're just horribly positioned. St. Paul in general is one of the biggest torture tests I can think, can think of for FSD beta. So, you know, I always want to caveat my St. Paul related videos. These roads are terrible. Human drivers get confused at them regularly. So it's just, it is what it is, um, but it's what we have to deal with. So at some point the car will need to overcome some of these, these issues. So. I would rather it err on the side of caution, stopping for stop signs like that. You can see it's kind of hesitant there with the guy on the bike. He's kind of creeping out here and not actually following the traffic laws there, which is not optimal. Um, so I gave it a little nudge in the throttle there, but the car was doing everything it should have there to be safe uh, in treating pedestrians with the utmost importance there. So good stuff there. But yeah, St. Paul roads are just have always been brutal. So let's see if we can kind of get around this one issue though. So this issue that I'm, I'm mentioning is was very present in 11.33. So eventually we'll have to get over, we'll be making a left turn um, to get an I-94 West. And as of 11.33, the car would no longer get over. At that fork back there, it would stay to the right. And then it would stay in this lane pretty much the entire way. And of course, we have to be in the left lane to get over to that exit for the freeway. So... We'll just have to keep an eye on this and see if it if it gets over here. We got about a little under a half mile left um, until we get to that spot. All right, so depending on how fast we accelerate here, we do have a gap right now to get over. So if the car is gonna get over and follow the route, I would be recommending that it do it now, between now and the next intersection. So let's see what it does here. A little hesitancy on the brakes there but in the process though <laughs> we did end up getting over to the right lane now I want to say that was a fluke so because of that guy opening his door at like the, the almost the worst time it kind of invalidated our test I'm gonna let the car go up here we'll at least test this left turn up here and then I may actually spin back around just to see what it will do again um, and yeah, we'll go back to the same starting point and just try this, this spot again just to kind of confirm one way or the other if this is still an issue or not. little bit of braking there but again with the weather degraded I'm not certain if it was doing that because of rain or what um, nobody was behind us so really not a big deal there let's see what we do here with this left turn we're in the right lane now we should stay in this lane and the car for the first time ever has stayed in the right lane that's awesome so I'm gonna make a right turn here, and then we're just gonna circle back around to that same spot. But I like what I see so far, man, with this build. Like, it's, it continues to be really good. Um, 
in previously problematic areas overall. The car back there, as you saw, we were in that right turn lane, and in the past, it would try to cut to the left in front of other cars, which would always cause problems for us. So I did not see that behavior this time around. Um, so we're gonna go back and try this one more time just to make sure. And I also wanna make sure that lane selection issue is, is actually properly fixed as well. So um, I'll see you back here in a few minutes and we'll give it another shot. All right, we're back for pass number two here. Unfortunately, pass number one, I mean, our test number one, I think was a, uh, was a pass, but because the guy opened his door. So this is the intersection or part of the road right here where, the, where it kind of forks into two lanes. And up until recently, there's been some quite a bit of snow on the right, so people were parked further out, and that causes some issues here. A little bit of hesitancy there with that car. Poorly positioned stop sign there. Hopefully we don't stop for it this time. We didn't, that's great. So at some point we have to get over to the left lane because in about a half mile, we have a, our turn on I-94 East. And that turn, there it is right there. So it did look like it wanted to get over, but it turned itself, turned the signal off right away, which is really weird. So I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan. There we go. So it's going for a faster lane now, which it does get us over. I'm going to try to just get us back to the right lane here. And then what I'm going to do, now let's see what it's doing there. Okay, so we're over into the right lane now again. So now we got a little under a half a mile to get over, which is plenty of room. You know, traffic, although we are kind of in the middle of rush hour right now. St. Paul is not too busy this time of day, or this time of week, so. Um... Okay, so we got no cars behind us to our left. And we still like to hang out way too much in this right lane with all these parked cars nearby. If it was me driving, I would not want to be anywhere near the parked cars because you never know when somebody's going to wham the door open on you or whatever. So not a fan of that behavior because calling that out. And we are on assertive, so if anything, we should be in the left lane regardless. Just going around those parked cars. So we need to get over now. We got one more intersection to go, and then we're going to be missing our turn. So right now we need a signal. We have a car coming up on our left here. And you can see here the car is trying to signal now, but it's, it's way too late. So unfortunately, this behavior still seems to be there. And now it's, you can see it completely missed its, missed its turn there. So I'm pressing the throttle now um, to get us through the intersection. So I'm going to spin back around and maybe like 10 minutes I have to go supercharge quick. Um, and then we'll kind of circle back and try that again. And I may try that on a different driver profile to see if maybe average or chill exhibits the same behavior. So see you in a bit. So what's interesting now is the car, you've seen a couple times there where the visualizations froze up there. Just wanted to engage FSD there and I've noticed that a few times with version 11.3.4. So this time we're getting over to the right lane because there's a truck park there. But I'm going to try to force the car back over to the right lane. So we're navigating from my gym again in St. Paul. This is the third time I've tried to test this behavior now. That was very interesting behavior ahead of us there. Somebody just cut this person off in front of us. Not great driving there. All right, so we're in the right lane now. This isn't typically what we wanted, but I want to make sure and show you that the car does not try to get over. Um, interesting behavior again at this intersection. So this is Smith, right before Smith Avenue on West 7th Street here. And I've noticed the car likes to stop while we're crossing the other intersection. So I'm going to report that 
Um, that behavior is something that I've noticed in 11.3.3 as well. Now the big difference between 11.3.1 and 11.3.2, at least my drives in this section of road here, there was plenty of snow banks at the beginning of the month on the right, which means people were parked further out. So the car would never want to be in this lane because it was basically cut in half due to parked cars. Now that the snow melted, at least for today anyways, um, that's that's uh, you know no longer an issue, but now the cars are out of the way, so we can use this lane now, and the car definitely has a preference to stay in the right lane. I'm guessing because cars frequently turn in the left lane while in the city. Um, but then that sets us up for problems like on this route here, so we're just gonna have to see. So one thing I wanna call it that, I don't know if I called out at the beginning of this drive. I've normally done this route in all my videos so far with version 11, um, and even going back to the 10.x builds, almost all my drives have been with the assertive profile, and this one's gonna be with average. So just to kind of show you, I just toggled it to chill, but it was an average there. So I wanna see if this has any impact on the behavior here of it not following the route. All right, so we're with under a quarter mile before we have to make this left turn up here. And it seems like average is exhibiting the same behavior as assertive where we are definitely in the wrong lane here. And the reason why um, I'm trying again to push the car over to the right lane is because sometimes back at that fork, the car will stay to the right. And when it's done that, this is the sort of behavior we've seen where it just doesn't even bother to try. You've not seen one turn signal for it to get over to the left lane. And now we have maybe a thousand feet to get over if that. And with traffic the way it is, we are in the end of rush hour, but it's still quite busy down here in St. Paul. We're going to miss this turn unless it signals at some point. It's got a signal now and slow down and wait for a gap. But as you see here again, the and the navigation too, you can see we're right on the money with navigation. So GPS wise, we have a good lock and we're gonna miss this turn again. This is such bizarre behavior here. I'm not sure why it's not following the route. And you see it tries to get over and then it tries to like cut over way too late. Like there's no way in heck you could complete that. So in closing, FSD, for whatever reason, as a version 11 really struggles with this spot in St. Paul, and for whatever reason, will not get over into the left lane if it ends up in the right lane on West 7th Street. I went back and looked at open street maps, and all the data looked to be correct for the amount of lanes down that same stretch of road. So the car should know that it needs to be in the far left lane to make the left turn lanes before getting on I-94 West. I'm gonna to continue to report this issue to the autopilot team, and hopefully we'll see a fix for this in a future V11 build. But as of right now, this appears to still be broken in version 11.3.3 and 11.3.4.